All right, Spencer, if you don't mind, uh, let's, let's uh, get us off. Uh, right. l- last we left, some, some weird shit was going down, so uh, hip us to the jive, if you would. When last we left, some weird shit was going on. <laughs> what happened? You guys had infiltrated the church with uh, partially the help of Patchens. You conspired in the courtyard on what to do next, and you decided what to do next was to go to the library. Once in the library, you read a couple of the books and then went up some stairs, and one of the stairs had marbles in it, and uh, Chad grabbed the marble, one of the marbles, and then Carlos grabbed the rest of the marbles, and you went up the stairs, and nothing was theirs. You went down and found a secret door. Carlos found a secret door, and he opened it, but there was a trap, and they took damage, and I hope it's written down on your character sheets. Um, And then they went down into the secret dungeon where they saw an unholy sight. A rogue figure manipulating a magical object and melting flesh together into unhinged monstrosities. Oh boy, who knows what would happen next. Find out now. Do, do they see us? Do they, do they notice our presence in the doorway here? Uh, or are they too busy like making sexy blood magic? That's go a on? good question. So let's let's pretend we're going back in time. How do you guys go down this ladder? Because that would determine the answer to that question. Well, I usually sing my ladder song. <laughs> Ladders go up, but mine goes down. I a wrong or two when you ring me a frown. I, no, we're trying to be stealthy, I think. Right, but which order? I think uh, I should go down first and put my shield and, and use my shield so you guys can come behind me and I can defend you. Okay. Just in case. Wait. wait, wait explain that more. You're on a ladder and you're using your shield to... I'm gonna like Ghostbusters down the ladder and then whip out my shield, and then you guys follow behind me, and then any sort of projectile. Are you sliding down the... I'm sliding, I'm going to do a quick move with my shield. Whoa. Just, just very, like, action hero-y, you know? Um, is this the original Ghostbusters? <laughs> the first movie Ghostbusters. Okay. All right, well, I assume, I don't know. I've seen that movie, but I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> They have a fire pole. They had a fire pole. They go down a fire pole. Right. I come down like the, like the new really... like, like the new women's Ghostbusters, and I go, oh, this looks like a room full of nightmares. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you Ghostbusters down. Um, Steve's in the lead with the shield leading, and the rest of you are behind him. So that's kind of the situation. All and right. that, Did... it sounds like they do know you're here. Uh-oh. How many, how many people are in the room? Uh, you see six, six people, no, seven people, um, six of the people got all warped by the, f- by flesh. They're like bathing in flesh and it was mutating them into horrid monstrosities like getting long arms and weird legs and stuff. Their chins are melting and they're getting like an eyeball st- on a stick. <laughs> It's gross. But that rogue figure is the one that we found in the, in the pumpkin patch where we were trying to be cow people, and uh, he flew off, right? Yeah, you can tell by the robe. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's cool. It's the same one. <laughs> that plan kind of worked then. It worked enough. All right, guys, uh, <laughs> how far yeah. away are we from them? Uh, sorry. Oh, boy. Do we got a like map 30 of this? feet. Do we got a map of this room or not? I don't have a map. A lot of the rooms are rectangular, and this is no exception. (laughs) All right, so you're in the corner. The the ladder comes down the corner. There's kind of barrels stacked up along the walls, and there's one cabinet. On the far end of the the longish room, you see the table that all that melted flesh was on. And there's also like an altar. It looks like an altar to an evil entity. And there's also a little well. Like a, yeah, like a well for drawing water. And you're saying this to all of us because we've all, you're figuring we've all come down the ladder? That's my assumption currently. Okay. I mean, I'm willing to go with that. that we came want. down the yeah. ladder. Let's, yeah, whatever you yeah. guys want. 
Okay, so, so they, they know we're there. The jig is up, right? Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, uh, guys, battle formations. Uh, gentlemen, <laughs> be ye man or beast, ye still be of the Church of the Silver Flame. Lay down your ag aggressions. Recant, you'll be shown mercy. All right. The robed figure picks up a barrel. It's like a, you know, a big size barrel and throws it at you. She's faster than you. Oh, man. All right, well, Did you say she? What? Did you say she? Oh, nope. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it hits you in the face, Steve. What? I have my shield out. It hits you right in the shield. Yeah, because you, 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 you gender uh, fluid assigned her. <laughs> no, I did that. I... All right, you take seven damage. Oh, Holy geez. shit. You should have taken the eggshell pill. Can you guys, can you guys heal me? The barrel explodes, spraying urine everywhere. Oh, boy. <laughs> what? She threw a pee barrel at you? Oh, well, it was a barrel. Yes, it was a pee barrel. Why are they peeing in barrels? It's the olden days. People peed in barrels back then. <laughs> oh, wait, where do you want them to go? The, the First City National Bank building? <laughs> Why are they saving the pee? <laughs> it's for doing laundry. Um, I take that gold marble that I found in the trap that has kind of slashy, maybe possibly liquid in it, and I don't know what it is, but I think it's probably a weapon, and I throw it at the robed figure. All right. What's your, uh, what's your ranged, do you have a ranged attack? Uh, like with my bow, you mean? Yeah, just give me your bow base attack bonus. Well, that's 100 feet with, with the bow. No, nah, just the base attack bonus. Base sorry. Attack, sorry, base attack bonus. Where are you? It's on the left, oh, maybe. Oh, uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. You throw the marble, and it lands on the floor. It explodes, and, and uh, it emits a shrill ringing sound. It's like ring. The, the hooded figure recoils with a terrible scream, as if they're hypersensitive to sounds, mm. but they don't seem to take any damage or anything. Oh, oh. oh wait, wait. Yeah. Uh, I start uh, hitting my steel shield with my elvish blade. All right, you do that. It's making noise. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> they don't seem happy. <laughs> Damn it. Car Carlos, can you heal me? Sure. Uh, well, I mean, normally... <laughs> you can I... substitute any level one spell for a healing spell. All right. Okay, well... That's a spontaneous casting. All right, well, I substitute divine favor off of my offensive loadout for a healing spell. Well, you don't seem very happy about it. I have a... Well, no, I... Well, of course I'm not happy about it. I, <laughs> you don't have up, to heal. No one wants to give up divine favor. That's, <laughs> never sounds like a good idea, but friendship is friendship. Oh, man. You heal him for... 10 damage. Oh, wow. Thank you. So I think you're back to full health even if you took the trap damage. I'll get that later. Oh, really? Yeah. So then all the, the shambling mounds start shambling towards you. It seems that all this mutating didn't make them faster. So they're, they're just, they're, uh, they're kind of like a wall of disgusting flesh. It's horrendous. How many of them? Uh, there's six of them. They're kind of forming a wall between uh, you and uh, the, the hooded figure. So the, it's just the, uh, of the original people in this Roman Polanski scene that we walked into, like, there's just the hooded figure, and now everyone else has turned into these shambling flesh people? Yeah. Okay. There's three of them. Six of them. Six. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> I, su I summon nature's ally. All right. <laughs> Which nature's you can, ally you can do you just want say to take a shit. We're friends. <laughs> uh, uh, I summon uh, a serpent. All right. What kind of serpent? Like a, like a big ass cobra. <laughs> like a, a, a mutant loving cobra chopper. All right. You summon Whoa. a big ass cobra. I drop the kids off at the pool. <laughs> What do you want the cobra to do? I want them to attack uh, the, uh, the, 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 the boogans that are coming at us. It attacks the boogans. <laughs> Sorry, hold up. Oh, boy. 
while Spencer's consulting the literature <laughs> to see how that attack fared, be a good time to wonder whether you should have meal ingredients delivered to your home in a box. <laughs> Do you uh, hate eating prepared meals? Yes. Do you want to make your own, but you don't want to go to the grocery store? <laughs> well, then the world is dying. What's and the you're name of this company? <laughs> Fresh Hello Box. All right. Fresh Hello Box. Fresh Hello Box brings you five boxes a day full of gourmet ingredients from only the freshest people. All right, so I got a, I got a cobra. I got a big, I have a magic cobra in the room right now. You guys know what I hate is liquid cologne. It's just not solid enough for me. I don't like other people's undies. What happened to me undies? <laughs> I, I, I don't want to keep walking around in <laughs> their undies. All right, the cobra, it wraps around one of the legs of, a, of one of these shambling horror things and bites its jaws, sink into the, the flesh of the leg. And, uh, oh, man, it hurts. The thing, it cries out in a horrifically garbled uh, cry. Oh, man, it goes down. He's like, he's racked in pain from the, from the what do you call it? Venom. Poison. Yeah, venom, yeah. that's the word. Yeah. That, that's, uh, guys, that's called uh, my little cobra friend. <laughs> now, does he, does he keep moving around and kicking butt, or is he kind of dealing with that, that, that boogan for a that while? That guy is dealing with it right now. He's, like, tussling with it. Okay. Okay, so the hooded figure crosses over and attacks uh, at, uh, what do you call it, Chad. That's me. Yeah, now, now she, she's, like, real fast, and she, like, blasts over to you. What's your AC? Yeah, 17. 17. All right. You take three damage. She punches you with the strength of something real strong, like inhumanly strong. Oh, boy. It hurts, but only three damage, so it doesn't hurt that bad. All right. So Steve's turn. If, uh, if she was affected by the clanging sound of your shield, she's not really showing it. Okay. How far is she from me? Uh... She's within 10 feet of you because she's, like, mixing it up with Jeff, who's close to you do, or behind you, potentially. Is she, do I have to go through the monsters, the monster people, to get to her? No. Can I use, can I do a full attack on her? Uh, yeah. <laughs> How many attacks do you get on a full attack? How many do I get? Yeah. Where would it say that? Probably just one. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't say that. Oh, okay. I'll just assume it's one. It can't be not one. Sorry, everybody. It says plus four, plus four attack bonus. Oh, you do get two. What do you know? All right. You hit her with your sword. No. Do you have a sword? I want to use my elvish blade and do some kind of cool <laughs> Legolas attack with my bow. Yeah. yeah. Is that doable? Wait. You, you said your bow? Attack? Wait, do I, I have two attacks, right? Yeah. So you, you use your sword first and then do a bow attack? Yeah, is that cool? Well, it's not going to be as, like, uh, you have a penalty to bow attacks within a, in a, in a close range. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, just do, yeah, do, do, do All right, two, I'll use my Elvish Blade t twice. Yeah. Oh, boy. One will be cooler than the next. <laughs> <laughs> One is cooler than the next. The first hit misses, and the second hit hits. <laughs> Good thing I had two tries. Yeah, sure. You slash into uh, the hooded figure's face, revealing her face. It's, uh, it's pale. Yeah, it's just pale. She's got long, stringy black hair. It's like gross, gross black hair. Oh, boy. She's pale. Is, she, is it a person? Uh, it looks, yeah, it's like a human-looking human person, yeah. You does, slice does her in the face. she shake it out? Like, like, now, like, like it's a, that moment in the 80s movie where it's like, it's a woman, and she shakes her hair. <laughs> no, she starts to, but it, she was doing something else. And, it and we already knew she was a woman, so How we're like... How much damage does she take? She takes 17 damage oh! to the face. Oh! All right. You Elfish. score a deep blow. It goes deep into her face. Oh, man. Is she bleeding? She's bleeding. Is you, it you stabbed her in the face? She sliced her in the face. 
Is what? It, is it like human red blood? Yeah, it's human red blood. Oh, okay. So but then her the- wounds start healing together. It like it goes like it, it sucks together. You know, it's starting to heal fast style. It doesn't heal completely or anything, but it's starting to heal up inhumanly. That's where I come in, right? Yeah. Isn't it my turn? Yeah, yeah, it is. Nowhere to hide. Nowhere to run. Summon monster one. All right, what monster? Are you level to one. <laughs> don't tell her what level one is. Yeah, right. You're right. I don't know why I made that part of my incantation. <laughs> make it make it sound like a high level yeah. monster. Yeah. Summon monster market price. <laughs> you don't know. What but do if, you, if, you, if you have to ask, you can't oh, afford the lobster thermidor. You want. What are, you, what are you trying to summon, man? Well, I, I'm sorry I had to ask you this, but I don't know my, uh, my There's choices. There's a dire rat, a dog, a dolphin, eagle, fire beetle, poison frog, pony, I, got, I mean, viper. I got distracted when you said dolphin. I didn't hear poison. anything else. <laughs> I heard dire rat because it sounds like diarrhea. I got distracted by that. So start, just go from the top. Dire rat. Dire rat. Dog. Dolphin. <laughs> eagle. Fire e- beetle. E- 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 Ewo? Eagle. 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 Oh, sorry, sorry. Eagle. Fire beetle. Fire beetle. Fire beetle. Fire beetle. Frog. Frog. Poison frog. Poison, poison frog. It's a poison it's a frog. There's a choice between frog no, and no, poison no, I, frog. Just, I was clarifying. Poison frog. <laughs> Don't pick Don't the frog. Don't pick the regular frog. <laughs> uh, I hope he settles near me. I, I believe that dire rat is going to be the perfect, like, I'm like... Yeah, yeah. We're, we're we're in a legit dunge. Yeah, you got to bring the you got to bring the rat out. We got a snake and a rat. It's like the, the, the Chinese calendar. All right, you summon a dire rat. What are you doing with it? Attack the robed woman. All right, you summon a filthy rat the size of a small dog. <laughs> That's who, my commanding him. Who are you attacking again? The lady. Oh what? man, it lunges at her, but it it misses. It go it jumps straight past her into a wall. <laughs> I should have I should have sicked it on one of the poison frog. No, I should have sicked it on one of the the shambling mounts. Yeah, that poison frog though. <laughs> oh boy. The shambling mounds, they continue to advance. They get towards you and start lashing out with their grubby, gross flesh hands. Six of them. (laughs) We're fucked. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I don't like the sound of that. Uh All right, Jeff, you take just five damage. Um, Steve takes two damage. And Dan takes six damage. Now, are, are my HP uh, uh, on my sheet like updated from last time? They should be. Okay. All right. So I'm, you said I'm, earlier you hope we marked it down. I'm, yeah. I'm down. I'm down to six HP right now. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. wh- whose turn is it? <laughs> um, it's uh, it's it's not. It's a uh, Sham- shambling mounds turn. No, it's the oh. the rogue figure's turn. Okay. All right. We're not running from shit. We, we got a cobra. We got your weak ass uh, fucking rat. Like we're, we're, we could make a fast getaway on those horses. I won't turn away from a fight though. Let's keep going. Yeah. The the vampire turns into mist. The vampire. Oh yeah, it's a vampire. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yeah, pale, pale humanoid is kind of vampire, right? Okay. Yeah. Especially okay. if they're healing. I mean, yeah, I could have done a better job. <laughs> I'm not going to deny that. It's a vampire. Well, now it's a mist. It's not clear what this portends. All right. It's Jeff's turn. So that, that vampire just boned out. Well, it's a mist. It's a mist. It's a mist. Is, it, is it still, like, is it still misting around At the room? At the moment, it hasn't really picked a direction. Did it do it because... Like it doesn't want to get eaten by a rat? Or it's not it... clear what this portends. All right, well, um, um, I... Is it missed kind of all like in one like kind of conf- like, like space? Like, no, it's a... kind of like the room's a bit foggy. It's not quite oh. that compact, but... Yeah. All right, 
Now, are these uh, these shambling motherfuckers? Are they all in a group? Or are they kind of like? Yeah, they've all converged kind of around towards you. All right, uh, fire domain, fire bolt, and I shoot. And I, I try to go zap and like 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 zoom, like like <laughs> like like pickle Rick laser in the fucking against <laughs> against uh, what was his name? Condor? No, what, what, what? Jaguar. 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 Yeah, I try to go wow across <laughs> these motherfuckers. All right. One of them catches on fire. Oh, boy. He takes six fire damage and catches fire. And he's, he's screaming this gurgly scream that sounds like he's got a melted uvula. And uh, he starts running around, and he's, like, catching things on fire, catching barrels on fire. Uh-oh, he's making pee barrels <laughs> catch fire. You know how flammable pee can be. Is pee actually flammable? No. No. <laughs> I don't think so, at least. Mine frequently is. Oh, shit. <laughs> How would any organism survive Darwin's gauntlet with flammable pee? I wasn't thinking about it. All right, so we got one, we got one that's been subdued by my by snake. By the viper, yeah. Oh, yeah, the snake should have a turn, too. Oh, yeah. Does he still want to keep tussling? Uh, is it a snake? It's, uh, it's a cobra. A cobra, yeah. Cobras always want a fucking another chance. Is that the case? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. He bites him again. Oh, this time he bites him right in the eye. <laughs> okay. All right. That, that's uh, on your dice? Yeah. It's, <laughs> it, was a, it was a snake eyes. Uh, <laughs> yay. That's our show. No. Um, He bites him in the eye, and he's he, now he's like screaming real loud, as if the poison's in his brain. Yeah. All right. He's Just a convulsing. shambling mound you're talking about. It's he's like it was a person. He's like a mutant person. It's like if a person turned into an action figure and melted. Yeah. So I got one dude on fire. This, this other guy's going crazy on snake eye poison. Yeah. All right. All right. Steve. All right. Have we eliminated any of those? I'd say two seem to be out of the immediate fight. Okay. Um, I'll attack the closest one with my Elvish blade. All right. It's a crit. You get you miss once and then it's a critical hit. Oh yeah! boy. Dealing damage. <laughs> Dealing fourteen damage. That was yeah. less than that normal hit. <laughs> okay. Well, that's numbers. All right. You lop off the stretchy, uh, elongated head of one of the mutated forms. Oh, boy. Yeah. It's pain, baby. All right. Nice job, DJ. Thanks. It's Harmon. I am using Channel Smite. It's one of my feats. Yeah. Which won't fail me now. Uh to deal extra damage to undead on attack. Now, I'm making the snap judgment in my head that these shambling mound things are not undead. And I got a nod. So, I'm attacking the mist. <laughs> I didn't think this through. If, if you have a towel, do you think that could help? I don't know, somebody absorb the mist. <laughs> Towels, mists one great weakness. <laughs> nah. Are the are the, sh the shambling mounds aren't undead. Uh, they. I'd know that as a cleric. Yeah, uh, yeah, you'd know it as a cleric. They're like mutants. They're like demonic. They're not. Yeah. All right. Well then. But they are evil. <sighs> God damn it! I just. I got this mist. I gotta. I gotta get this fucker. Like I, I can't hit her with a. I'll just hit a, a shambling man. I'm not channeling smite. I'm not doing that. I lied. Okay. I'm hitting a shambling mound with my morning star. All right. What's your attack bonus and damage? Plus two. Oh wow. Times oh. two if it's critical. All right. Well, you hit. Uh, damage is one d eight, right? Yeah. All right. Plus one, <laughs> mind you. <laughs> All right. You smash one in his head. You explode his giant ear, and it oozes pus as his brain also pusses out of his ear. 
He dies. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's, it, it's 9.59 right now. So we got how many, how many standing uh, boogans have we got? Two. Two, two boogans? Yeah. And we the, still got a frog and a... Has, has the frog... Not a frog. We got a rat. Has the, has the rat gone again? Oh, yeah. Make the rat do something, Harmon. Oh, rat. Attack one of the shambling mounds. Rats don't attack mist. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. Yeah, it bites one of the guys right in the neck. Oh, boy. It tears his neck open. He's not dead, but he's really heavily injured. Oh, man. The mist... It takes a turn. It leaves. It goes up out of the ladder. Shit. <laughs> Follow that mist. <laughs> Come on, snake. Come on, rat. <laughs> We're going up this ladder. I, I put the snake around my neck like a, like a, like a scarf. And, uh, and then we're, like, like, we're, we, let's, go, let's go get this goddamn mist. All right. The, 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 the shambly guys, they, they reach after you with their fucked up limbs, but you manage to get away unscathed uh, up the ladder. The mist is nowhere to be found. It's, it was a mist. <laughs> we missed the mist. <laughs> we missed it. Yeah. It was a swing and a mist. Right. Uh, uh, should we go back down and just fuck up these other two guys just out of frustration? <laughs> There's a giant explosion from underground. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. oh man. Everything down there explodes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the urine is flammable. <laughs> uh, 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 do we survive it? Well, you guys do, yeah. Uh, oh, so uh, down, down where we were, below the ladder. Yeah. So there's just a big... Is, is the explosion ongoing, or it just ends? And then no, it happened. Okay, so then... So the, you were like, what the fuck? <laughs> Diarrhea, see down there if... All right, I, I, go, I go down into the... I, I go down the ladder. Oh, man. It's just... It's all blown up. Can I see anything? I have low light vision. You can see a crumbling support pillar portending uh, collapse, uh, imminent collapse. Let's, have, let's get the fuck out. Well, he's just down there now. Wait, so he, I, he I have to get out of here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I climb up the ladder quickly. All right. He's back with you guys. What did you see down there? A, an imminently collapsing pillar. We got to get out of the structure. Let's go out and get on those horses. Let's get on the horses. Oh, okay. You run into the courtyard. And you can see the horses are slaughtered. Oh, oh boy. They're no! Cliffhanger. 